I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. Just click on the link in the description below or go to my website, AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about blindsided by a breakup. Well, have you ever been in a relationship and the breakup seemed to come out of nowhere? Or you had very little warning? It can happen. And of course, relationships always have their ups and their downs. And sometimes you can be in a place with your partner where things are feeling really unstable or maybe you guys have been unhappy for a while but you think it's going to turn around and next thing you know your partner's given up on you and that is an absolutely terrifying feeling now sometimes you're in a position where you have no idea or very little idea of course there's going to be varying degrees for every situation i could tell you for me i've been in a situation where there was very very little idea that there was going to be a breakup and you know a very healthy relationship can end and it's scary because you feel like everything had been going right you think that you have a good partner that truly loves you is your best friend will be there for you next thing you know they're gone and your instincts kick in you start begging them trying to talk to them trying to convince them trying to figure out what's going on they just don't have it and you know it depends upon what's going on now sometimes it's because there was somebody new lurking in the background and you had no idea about it and today I'm going to be talking about a situation just like that and these can be really scary because your whole life can just end or it feels like it's ending and the relationships ending in a blink of an eye right where before you know it they're gone they're out of your life and it feels terrifying like they're never coming back and I think that most people probably have some idea you know you guys have been fighting for a while or there's been something going on they've been voicing complaints to you they're expressing that they're not getting their needs met and so you know you can revisit that and think oh my gosh I should have listened when they said that of course there are situations where somebody gives you very to little warning that anything was even bothering them and why is that well I have my suspicions and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit after I get into this email okay so this email is about a couple that was in their mid thirties okay and they said uh, after watching a hundred of your videos I decided to seek your help <laughs> well some people it's interesting some people want to talk to me right away they've been watching me for a few weeks some people wait months I had somebody last week that waited a year to talk to me what are you waiting for just sign up for the coaching let's talk about it right there's no reason to go through this by yourself that's why I'm here to help guide you I've been through this a million times all right um, but you know I think we uh, had a really difficult situation for her that the one that waited a year um, but I wish she had gotten with me sooner so guys always it's better to be proactive in these situations get a plan in place with me and then we can assess how to handle things and I'll even give you ideas on maybe particular videos to watch or where to go or what to expect for your situation because a lot of times you feel like the bottom's just dropping right underneath you uh, like this situation here you're gonna hear um, so this breakup was uh, not even that long ago about a month ago and like I said a couple in their mid 30s but the the email is from a woman and she said we have been a couple that lived together for five years before we got before we got married and have had a wonderful life together he was my best friend and I re recognize all your description from the videos they were my best friend he showed all the ten signs when a man loves you until the day he broke up with me so you can imagine how this woman felt where he is 
constantly showing her that he's there for her, that he loves her, that he cares about her, and then a breakup. I met him at a nightclub where he was a DJ. Hmm. I can imagine what kind of a lifestyle you would be if you're a DJ at a club, got a lot of attention from the ladies. He was living with a girlfriend in their house. He told me they had broken up and ended, but and we ended up kissing. I found out later they were still a couple and had been together for four years. So, this is a major red flag here, okay? When she met this guy, he was working at a club, he lied to her. He said he's single, he's not. He's living with a girl for four years. Can you imagine how it felt for that woman of four years to get dumped and left for somebody else? And so she's getting into a situation here where there's already a major red flag because you always got to consider what somebody will do to somebody else, they could do it to you. It's a long story, but he chose to leave her after a month and we became lovers. The family told me they knew that their relationship would end. I moved into his house nine months later. In the spring of 2015, we bought property together that met all of our wishes. He dreamed of being able to run his own company from home. We talked about getting married already after a couple years, which was a big thing since Wally and I always said we would n he would not marry, but he changed his mind after he met me. He proposed to me in October of 2016 in front of a lot of friends. So everything's looking good other than how they initially met, right? It seems like the relationship's going good. In the summer of 2017, we got married. His parents have been married for 40 years. Wally has a nice relationship with them, and we saw them often. We had plans for the next 8 to 10 years. I was happy, and I didn't have a clue that he was unhappy. So, that's a scary thought right there. You're, being, you're in a relationship with a partner who is not expressing their needs to you or that they're unhappy about things, right? How can you do anything about it? He went to confession and told me he had an affair for the last two to three months. I became so upset and cried. Wow. So now she's blissful in her relationship. She's happy. They've just gotten married. And this guy's been having an affair. You know, I, I'm not sure who this woman is or where he met her. Um, and how he was able to hide this from you. Um, but he must have been really sneaky to be able to pull that off. We talked for several hours. The result was that Wally left me that afternoon. He has not set, slept home since. I was completely shocked and crushed. I never asked him to come back but asked him a couple of times the following day if he was sure that's what he wanted. He had texted me for two days that he was sorry that he had let me down and he was thinking about what he had caused, me, and he apologized for what he had done. He did not want to take his wedding ring off. He had a talk the day after which I found like a contract under the terms we had agreed. He will support me financially for the next two years, and I will stay in the house for two to three years. Well, that was pretty generous of him. He would like a building, a small house on the grounds he can live in. He was in tears the two hours we talked and cried and cried and cried and told me 20 times that he loved me. If he loves you so much then why is he having an affair? And why is he not making an attempt to repair the relationship with you before he just walks away? He also kept repeating that he would like to keep me as his friend. Yeah, some friend. Thanks, friend. Thanks for having that affair on me, friend. No thanks. However, he was so in love with the other girl that he had to find out if they were meant to be. He just had to do it, just like he had to do it to that other girl. 
Think about it. This man is pretty shady, right? This is not the first time he's done this. I also cried for the two hours, but repeated that I had set him free and I did not want a man who was not happy with me and w didn't want to be with me. Good for you. That was a strong thing to say. He also said that I should not throw out our pictures and wedding stuff as it had been the best day of his life. Uh, you can keep them, buddy. I don't want them. He has written every other day about practical things the first few weeks, and I have only answered short if I answered him. He comes to the company two to three times a week. I have seen him a few times where we have talked briefly, but he has looked really down and sad. Certainly not as confident in love. He continues to ask me little questions about how it's going, and I answer, but I do not ask him anything. Good. We speak normally and politely. He also says I can call him any time for help, and he wants to help me. Well, he certainly didn't act like it, did he? Right? Um, now he cares? Right? After he goes behind your back, lies and cheats on you, now he cares how you feel? I want to stay in the house and finish my education. I love my life and will not give it up because Wally let me down. I have too much to lose. And you shouldn't. You should continue to focus on your education and your passion and whatever, whatever it is that you're wanting to do with your life, regardless of what happens with him. I don't know what our problem was. I would like to do the work. What is your advice to me? And what do I do if I want him back? Okay, well, the hard part for you is what do you even work on? I mean, you're going to have to make that decision based on figuring that out for yourself. In other words, he's not going to give you that feedback to really think about, okay, he told me this and I didn't do it, or he needed that and I didn't give it, right? Because you're saying, according to you, you don't know what the problem was. Now, I don't know what he would say about that. Maybe he would say, I tried to tell you and you weren't listening. Or maybe you're 100% correct in saying, he never told me. In which case, that makes things even scarier. Because let's say it falls apart with the new woman, which it probably will, and then he comes back around again and he wants to get back together. How are you going to feel like you can trust this guy again? You did before, you had no idea anything was wrong, and he walked away and had an affair on you. So how do you know he wouldn't do the same thing? If he's capable of doing that, he's capable of doing it again. I'm telling you, if I was in your situation and he came back to me, I would make him work really hard to show you that he's going to try and work it out. I wouldn't let I wouldn't pay attention to his words. I would want to see his actions. I would want to get onto couples counseling with him and really see that he's really committed to, and invested in this and I would also make sure that I had a really good understanding of what the problem was and why he couldn't communicate it with me and how he will communicate problems in the future. So how do I know next time that something's bothering him, he will say it. Otherwise, he might have another affair. But, you know, you got to think long and hard about this because he cheated on the other girl and that's how you met him. Now he cheated on you and that's how we met this new girl. Who's to say he's not going to continue this pattern here? I mean, he's acting like he truly cares about you by saying, I'll take care of you, you could stay in the house, I'll give you, you know, financial support, and all of those are great, but... That's not really what you're wanting from this guy. You were looking for a loving, committed relationship. So, I can't exactly tell you what the specific work would be to be in this situation because he didn't give you any feedback. Uh, you're going to have to look at yourself and, you know, maybe look at the traits of a healthy partners and in those videos where I talk about healthy relationships and being a good partner and all those things and see if you line up to that. And if you do then maybe there really is no work to be done other than some fine-tuning. Um, if you want him back, 
you need to make this man work for you. Like I said, I want him in couples counseling. I want to know how you're going to assess what the problems are between you and how you're going to know that they could be communicated. Obviously, you need to know that the affair and whoever he was in contact with, he's completely done and over with on his own. Don't try and talk him out of it and say, you got to stop talking to that woman. He's got to say to you, I don't want to be with anybody else. I really am committed to working on this. And he's got to show you that he's going to act like an adult to work this out with you. Because if he doesn't, he's liable to do the same thing with you again. So, if you want to get my help personally, just go to my website, AskCraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching. I do Skype coaching. If you got to get with me right away, I do offer emergency Skype coaching. And of course, Margaret is now doing Skype coaching as well. She's amazing. I highly recommend it. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and I will talk with you soon. Hi, I'm Coach Margaret, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist with 35 years experience. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. If you would like professional help with your situation, please contact us at askcraig.net.